Good morning, Minecraft gamers. It's me, Lord. Welcome back to the guide. In the last episode, we spent a time, a really, really long time, building the brand new nether hub. In today's episode, we're going to put that brand new nether hub to good use. You see, episode 154, this one, is all about looking for netherite. We found a lot of diamonds a couple episodes ago, and yeah, like I said, we built a new nether hub in the last one. So today, before we do anything, before we go to the nether, before we even get the supplies for the nether, we need to look at what we're going to convert. That's right, it's finally time. Diamond, diamond armor. armor. But not just diamond armor. We're going to go one step further. See, we're going to make a full set of diamond armor and we'll be wearing this stuff very, very soon. First, we're gonna put enchantments on it, but we'll have it soon. But not just that. You see, you see, there, there is more. So we have diamond pickaxes, those are good. We don't need to worry about those, but we don't have a diamond sword. We definitely don't have a diamond hoe. We also don't have a diamond shovel, and we didn't have a diamond axe too. That's going to be eight different diamond things that we need soon oh so soon this will be our full set of diamond armor but not for now for now we just craft it and we put it on the armor stand it looks pretty good right there it looked better on but it's good also while i'm at it extra chest right there in the storage room by the way i did finally get even more chests inside of this room i started to organize things a little bit more but uh yeah i'm kind of out of space we need a storage building soon so anyways these other tools are going to go inside of this chest we're not going to use them today but they're there and then after all of that we end up with 52 diamonds left that's not bad we'll get more diamonds soon i have big dreams and big goals but not today in today's episode we're going to get netherite the most netherite that we've ever mined in this entire series if you enjoyed today's episode leave a like and hey uh, check out my twitter if you haven't yet i tweet netherite ingots are expensive for one netherite ingot we need four pieces of ancient debris and four pieces of gold the gold isn't the problem but the four pieces of ancient debris yeah not fun so that's gonna be four for the helmet four more for the chest plate that's eight then 12 for the leggings 16 for the boots uh 20 for the axe 24 for the shovel 28 for the hoe and then 32 for the diamond sword half a stack of ancient debris well actually actually a little bit more actually uh, a little bit more for that a little bit more for that so that ends up with like 40 ancient debris oh boy if you're mining for ancient debris you're gonna need to be in the nether and then you're either going to need to have a lot of pickaxes or explosives explosives are 100 percent the way that we're going today now full warm 2.0 this thing is glorious it's been running for a while it's getting me wool continuously look at this that's so much wool we could make so many beds so we might as well just pick a color and start there so there is actually an earlier episode of this exact series on ancient debris mining there's a card to it on screen now we're basically doing the same thing today but with a few modifications to make our life a little bit easier hopefully just like with pretty much anything in this game when it comes to mining for ancient debris there are a couple different ways you could do things some ways are worse some ways are better the route that you choose to go is going to change your supplies a little bit but basically there are two different ways you could do this with a pickaxe and lots of digging or with explosives if you're planning on mining for ancient debris manually like just digging out in the nether really low down you're crazy like I i'm sorry but it's just a terrible idea it's gonna take a really long time it's dangerous you're gonna burn through a lot of durability on your pickaxe or even just a lot of pickaxes uh don't do the mining method but if you really are doing that then i recommend just crafting a bunch of pickaxes probably like at least an inventory full of pickaxes and just going for it maybe enchant the pickaxes maybe don't or maybe just even consider this don't do it this way explosive mining for ancient debris is by far the best way to find this stuff it's efficient it's fast and i mean it's not really safe but it's efficient and fast explosive mining for ancient debris comes in a couple different forms my favorite way is the bed but you could also use tnt or maybe if you're super late game you could use like end crystals or something this one's all about ancient debris mining specifically ancient debris mining with beds beds are by far the best way to go in my opinion because they're so cheap set them on automatic wool farm you'll have tons of beds in no time you're gonna need a lot of wood for this and a lot of wool there are two other supplies that you're gonna want to have though you're definitely gonna want to have at least these two pieces of armor a chest plate and leggings highly recommended it doesn't need to be good or anything it just be iron but some armor and then food i have two stacks of steak we're gonna take a lot of damage which is gonna burn through hunger which means we have to eat a lot oh yeah oh yeah i almost forgot four supplies actually cobblestone have cobblestone too 
Clearly, ancient debris mining is going to be done in the nether. You can find ancient debris generating in the nether. Now, technically, actually, ancient debris generates everywhere in the nether. Yeah, that's right. If you didn't know, you could actually find the ancient debris, like, up at the top of the nether. We actually did in this world before. But definitely, the further down you go in the nether, until a certain point, the easier this gets. Ideally, you should do this deep down in the nether. So in the last episode, we set up a brand new nether hub. I'm still kind of undecided on this hallway here. I mean, I like it. Nothing, uh, nothing against it. But I don't know. I feel like it maybe needs more. But anyways, this hallway leads to a brand new nether hub. The new nether hub is uh, honestly my favorite nether hub so far. Or I guess it would be like part of the nether hub. So the part of the nether hub is what we're inside of right now. Right now we're inside of the chain part. Now we're inside of the sword part. Post Malone is definitely proud. If you know, you know, this sword goes deep, like really deep, all the way down below the lava ocean, actually. The floor of this part of the nether hub is all the way down at Y12 in the nether. So there are actually a couple different levels that people recommend mining for ancient debris at in the nether. The two most common recommendations are down at Y12 and down at Y15. Personally, in my opinion and from my experience, I kind of feel like Y12 is better. I've had better luck consistently at Y12, but you could try Y15 too. The biggest reason you wouldn't want to mine for ancient debris higher up, like Y15 or even higher than that, would be the lava ocean. The lava ocean is a little higher up. It can get pretty deep sometimes, and it's pretty much inevitable that you're going to spill lava in on yourself, but the higher up you go, the more likely it is that you hit the ocean. Not good. Very, very annoying. It's a pain. Last episode, we set up the hub above and the room down below. It's a little cozy down here. It has the essentials, extra storage, crafting table, furnace, you know, things like that. This is going to be the central hub for our netherite mining experiment today. So we're going to mine in that direction, that direction, this direction, and then if we have to, that way too. Before this episode, I did a little bit of experimentation. The goal was pretty simple. Come up with an efficient and easy and safe way to mine for ancient debris with beds in the nether. You know, very, very dangerous. Basically, I think I've got it. This should be pretty much the safest way to mine for ancient debris in the nether with beds and also pretty efficient. So we're going to start by making a hallway. One wide, make it pretty long. It's at Y12 for me. You can do it at Y15, do it at whatever you want. Uh, now, I ideally would like to not explode this room. Pretty simple goal. So we're going to start by, by going a couple blocks in, like right here. Now what we're going to do is dig seven blocks out this way. So three, four, five, six, and then seven. Now, in a minute, we're going to put a bed right there. We're going to back up over here, put a cobblestone right there, and then try and use the bed. But not yet. We're going to prepare this hallway a little bit more so bed comes back with me, and we keep digging tunnels. We're going to do the same thing in the other direction. So this is going to be one, and then seven right there. So that's seven again. We have this middle spot. Yeah, seven in both directions. We'll put beds at either end and explode them. Now, after this, we're going to actually count eight blocks so one two three four this block is eight the next one is nine we're gonna go to the ninth one and then do it again two hallways in either direction coming off of the central one seven blocks deep i tested things out i i i i i i we have to be careful for this i tested this out in a creative world and i think it worked out pretty well we should be able to place the beds down preserve a, most of the middle hallway explode holes on either side of this thing expose a ton of blocks and hopefully if we're lucky find ancient debris so seven blocks again seven blocks again now we're gonna do it again we're gonna to go eight blocks three four five six seven eight i think it was eight <laughs> and then on the ninth one we do it again two hallways by making the hallways seven blocks deep the beds are going to explode a gigantic hole but should preserve most of the central hallway now finding things like blackstone and soul sand like this right here inside of the hallways is going to change things a little bit this stuff is harder to blow up so it will be a smaller explosion we might need to end up putting beds in the middle too i'm not too sure i'm just hoping this works out i'm just hoping this works out pretty nicely so now we have three sections there's no way that i'm going to end up finding 40 ancient debris inside of here but I think it's time to go. So to actually use this thing, grab a bed, place it down at the back of the hallway. Don't touch the bed yet. Back up to the center hallway right here. Put a cobblestone right there. If I put it right here, I won't be able to reach the bed. So one block in and we're good. And then stay behind the cobblestone and use the bed. And boom, it explodes like that. And do we get lucky? Please be lucky. Please be lucky. Yeah, 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 GG. We're not lucky at all. So then we have to go back inside of this room and get rid of all the lava so we can actually see below the lava. We're going to get an extra nether rack from digging these hallways. It's going to be great. It's going to be really useful. And I really hope this process is not painful today. I'm very much hoping that it's not painful. So I've always had the goal to have full netherite everything in this world. Every axe, every hoe, every shovel, everything should be netherite. But this is a painful process, to be honest. I don't enjoy doing repetitive processes like this. I'll build a farm all day long. I'll clear our land all day long. I'll build like a million terraform things all day long. But exploding in the nether, 
It just doesn't entice me very much. I guess I really just don't know what it is about it, but it's just not the most exciting thing in the world to me. Now, removing lava, it's kind of tricky, but a good way to do it is with netherrack in your offhand. You hold it in the offhand, you try and move closer to it, and just really aim and, and press the use button. Hopefully, you end up finding something that you can put blocks on, place the blocks, and then dig the blocks back out. So check this out. Hopefully, this one will go better. We have a bed right there. We back up to this hallway. Then we have a cobblestone block right there. And then we do it again and make sure your health is full just to be safe. So less lava this time right off the bat. I like it. I like it. But we're still missing my favorite thing in the world. It's not here. And this is where the food is going to come in handy today because we're going to need to eat a lot. Like, I'm going to have to keep eating and eating and eating. But here we go. We have an explosion hole over there. That was the first one. This was the second one right here. And the center hallway is preserved. Now, of course, later we can come back down in the center hallway and just blow the hallway up too. See if there's any ancient debris in the middle. But moving on. The next spot right here. Bed explodes. Ancient debris, please. Please show up eventually. Come on. All right, so there's more lava, but look at this. With the bed spacing like that, it's perfect. We don't really waste the beds very much. There's a little bit of Africa blocks here that we could dig out. But yeah, we don't really waste beds. Not overlapping explosions. So, lava, please go away. Is there ancient debris? Please, please kindly be right behind here. I can feel it. I can feel it. It feels really, really good right now. Oh, uh, there's ancient debris right down there. I know it for sure. Oh, okay. All right. Well, moving on. Technically speaking, we've done this before in this world. This is just the first time we're doing it in like a long time. But also at the same time, to keep things fresh, I came up with a new method. We've never used this exact method with the spacing and, and the tunnel digging and everything like that. So it is different. I'm trying to wait for the lava to go away over there. So let's move on. Let's place a bed again and explode the bed. There we go. What do we have? Oh, yeah. Nothing. Okay. Well, it's fine. And now the health is basically full. We're going to go for it again. Um, wow. I was hoping that I would end up finding, like, one by now. Um, I promise it's not the method. It's just it's just me being really unlucky. Uh, that's too bad. Okay, so what I could do here is go back to the center, dig another hallway, or even just extend this hallway, whatever. Uh, or I could go over to this room right here. So that's what we're going to do next. We're actually going to dig out into this hallway, like, four or so blocks, then place a bed, back up, place a cobblestone down to shield us a little bit, and do it again. Blackstone is going to be a little bit harder to blow through, but netherrack, it just goes away right away. Nothing again. Backtracking over to the next room, we're going to make sure we're on Y12, and we're going to do it again. We're going to dig out into this a little bit. Like this many blocks or so, place a bed, make sure our cobblestone is in front of us, and ancient debris. Sooner or later, it's going to work. I promise. So we're going to expose a lot of nether quartz down here today, too. If some of it gets blown up, it is what it is. It's fine. I'm not going to worry about it too much. But the stuff that doesn't get blown up, I'm actually just going to leave here. I'll come back later and fortune the stuff or silk touch it or whatever I end up doing. But yeah, I'm going to leave the nether quartz there. And probably same with a lot of the nether, the nether gold door. I don't really need that stuff either. Y12, one more block up, and we dig back and we do it again. Now, one word of advice that I do have when it comes to mining for ancient debris, if you keep hitting lava, like like a lot of it, like over here, it might be worth your time to consider just turning around and going in a different direction because filling in lava, like continuously, especially if it's a lot, uh, that can be really painful and it can take a lot of time, waste a lot of time. The only reason I'm really trying to push through here, oh, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. We're gonna, we're gonna back up a little bit, get away from all fire just in case. Yep, right back in this room and we're gonna eat. Oh, it would never happen to me. It would never happen to me. That was just a silly accident. That's my bad. That wouldn't happen to me. Zero deaths. Exactly. Zero deaths. So yeah, you're gonna want to be careful about things like that too, definitely. Uh, oh no, I lost some of my armor. If you find lava and you have to clear it out, clear it out from top down. And also, it might be a smart idea to get rid of fire nearby just in case of emergency, something bad happening. You know, uh, having less fire is probably a good thing. One block above the lava minimum always. I can't say it enough. Finally, I got rid of all the lava and what was it for? Well, nothing. It was not worth my time. All right, so next up, I'm actually going to backtrack over to the other side of the hallway and do the same thing. I'm going to extend these rooms down a little bit more, go a couple blocks past here, and do the same bed thing. Eventually, it is inevitable. We will find ancient debris. When we find ancient debris, it'll just be there. Ancient debris doesn't actually explode. So, like, theoretically, if there is ancient debris, like, one block behind where that bed is, nothing bad is going to happen to the ancient debris. It's going to be fine. Also, finding things like gravel down in this area is kind of kind of nice, because if you have torches, you can do the torch trick and clear out the gravel. But same thing uh, about the lava, you're just going to want to be careful. When you're clearing out gravel, you definitely don't want to fall down into lava, so don't stand on top of the gravel. I really don't want to complain, because I don't like it, but I don't like this process so far. So far today, it has not been enjoyable. Alright, it's time for us to go for it again. Let's go this time. Okay, now. Maybe next time.
One more time, this is the time, this is the time, this is the time, this is the time. This is not the time. And so, at this point in the video, I decided to go back to my old video, the one from earlier on in the series, just to see what was happening. I was shocked by how I sounded. I feel like I sound so different. <laughs> it's only been a year. The big thing that I found out from that video is it was Y11. Was, was I always doing this at Y11 the whole time? <laughs> it's been so long since I've done this. I mean, sure, fine. We'll try it at Y11. How much could it matter? It's one Y level. Mm. Mm -hmm. Quite simply, I am not too sure. Back to Y number 12. Alright, so I've gone pretty far down that way. I guess I didn't clear out all the lava over here, so I still have to work on that. But let's push the hallway down a little bit further and keep going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's nine. And it's bedtime. We'll put a bed right there, cobblestone right there. Let's go. Ancient debris. <gasps> I didn't even realize it. I didn't even realize that I was clearing out the fire. There is ancient debris. And I found it. Ancient debris. Now, I'm pretty sure we need a diamond pickaxe to mine this, and I forgot the diamond pickaxe in the overworld, so we're not going to mine it. Ancient debris. <laughs> we finally found ancient debris. I didn't think it would be possible. When you do end up finding ancient debris, dig around it, see if there is any more ancient debris near it. Oh, like right down there. That's amazing. Almost fell in the lava. More ancient debris right there. I think that's two down. Only 38 more to go. Time for another bed. And time for the lava ocean to fall in here. Something like that. No ancient debris on that other side, but the big thing here is the fact that it works. We actually found ancient debris. But also, unfortunately, I'm out of beds. But I'm definitely not out of wool. I still have so much wool left. We've mined down that hallway for a little while and didn't have very much success. So now we're going to turn. We're going to make a new hallway over here. I'm going to set up a couple spots for beds. And then we're going to go for it. Hopefully this hallway will be a little bit more lucky. Okay, so I've got a couple more hallways set up now, which means it's bedtime. Hopefully down this hallway we have a little bit more luck. Now the interesting thing about this one here, uh, it actually kind of links up with where I was working before. Now I was kind of torn on what to do about this. Do I just skip this area or do I still go for it? I think I'm still going to go for it. I'm going to use the beds in here and it will waste a little bit of the bed. Like definitely for sure because all that space has already been blown up. However, it's going to open up even more space. Like, look at how big this room is now. Now we can see everything and, and know for sure, 100%. I'm not missing any ancient debris, sadly. Time for the next one. Oh, <gasps> there's more. <laughs> there's more right there. It looks like in this one, we're going to have a solid chunk of three. Perfectly in line, too. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, a solid chunk of three ancient debris. That's not bad. If we can get at least enough ancient debris for, say, like half of everything that we need then i'll be happy today here's another spot and this one is right next to gravel so this will be kind of interesting i wonder what will happen uh, any ancient debris this time mm, no but a hundred gravel and speaking of gravel there's even more gravel up there in this one this is the last one that i had ready for now uh-huh uh-huh that's just the ancient debris we found a second ago nothing here all right so now we're gonna go back to the middle and i'm actually gonna go this way now this way might not work out as well because i seem to have kept hitting like the lava ocean or patches of lava over here if that happens after a couple beds we'll just go back to the other ones and make the hallways longer but we'll give it a shot i have another hallway ready now i'm ready for like six more beds same thing on this side like i just said with the beds linking up to where we've been before we'll do it anyways and clear out a really big space and see if we missed any ancient debris. Now, one thing about ancient debris mining, biome doesn't really matter, but I highly recommend that you don't do it in the basalt deltas biome because the basalt deltas, oh, there it is. There it is. There's some literally right next to this room. There it is. Two more at least. Nine ancient debris. That's actually a quarter of the way there. That's actually a quarter of the way there. When you break it down like that, this isn't too bad at all. I'm actually enjoying this other than, than stuff like that. That's terrifying. Okay, no, but uh, what I was saying is I, I don't recommend doing this in the basalt deltas biome because it's all built out of, you know, basalt and blackstone, things like that. Things that don't really blow up very easily. So, yeah, if you do end up hitting the basalt deltas biome, you can still find ancient debris there, of course. It, it just might be a little bit more annoying to do. Let's do the other side of this hallway, but let's also be ready to run in case of lava. Uh, no, we're clear. All right, so speaking of lava, still a lot of lava that I have to get rid of over there. But no ancient debris over there, so let's try it over here. We have a bunch of blackstone, so less explosion for sure. And no ancient debris. But it's okay, because we'll try it over here on the other side. Maybe we'll find ancient debris this time. <laughs> right there, I almost thought the soul sand was. But right there, two more. I think that's maybe, maybe 11 total now. I think my plan is to go back to the overworld once I run out of beds or wood, whichever one happens first, and get my diamond pickaxe. I'll bring a diamond pickaxe with us and, and just mine the ancient debris. I'll go back and backtrack and get it all. When you do find a cluster of ancient debris, I highly recommend digging out around it, kind of like you do with like diamonds and stuff. But wow, not too bad. 
So this hallway is way more lucky. Like, this one is going really, really good, which means I'm gonna keep going down this hallway. I don't know what it is about it, but I like it. Time for six more beds. Bed number one will hopefully have, like, seven ancient debris. Okay. Um, I don't think it had any. Bed number two will have at least one ancient debris. Uh, <gasps> it has at least one. All right, so I'm kind of losing track of how much ancient debris I've found so far, but I think this might be, like, 12. It might just be a single piece, but hey, that's okay. Next up, we have that bed right there. This bed right here. Another bed right here. And then right behind us, we're going to do another bed. So that's going to mean bed right there. <gasps> okay, I'm getting so much into the like the rhythm of just digging this stuff that it doesn't even phase me sometimes. Like, like that right there, I'm just digging right past ancient debris, uh, which I really like to see. I was just digging right past it. I wasn't even thinking. Another one right there. So at this point, I don't think we're quite at our halfway point, but we're getting there, which is good. Hey, wait a second. There is one inside of one of the last ones. Nice. Okay, actually, hold on. I would estimate that our netherite total is probably around 13 or so. That would be a pretty safe guess. And look at this. We have so many beds still. Like, we barely used any. I thought I used way more. So one single chest full of beds, like, all the way. Like, that barrel just back there. That's gonna be 27 beds. We've only used about a half a stack of beds so far. That's crazy. What I think I might end up doing is just finish off the stack. And then, honestly, we might be good after all of this mining. Like, so far, it's going pretty good. So we were just down the hallway on the other side. I decided to switch sides now and extend this hallway all the way down. I also decided to stop using iron pickaxes because I was basically just burning through them. It's basically a publicly known secret that I don't have an iron farm, which means my iron is not exactly in a good spot. Netherrack mines so quickly anyway, so stone pickaxes it is. So come on, come on. I was really hoping that one of those beds would get lucky here. <laughs> uh, no. But actually, you know what? Forget the beds, because look what I found while I was digging this thing out. Even more ancient debris right in the hallway. It was actually a pretty amazing moment. Not as amazing as finding, like, three ancient debris from a bed, but a pretty good moment. So right now, I'm really just placing the beds down and blowing them up, exploding a lot of space. I'm not really looking inside of these spaces that hard. I definitely plan on coming back in here, clearing out all of the lava, and looking around a little bit more um, intensely just to make sure I don't miss any ancient debris. But right now, I'm focused on using up all the rest of the beds. 40 is our dream target. My settling target is like 20. Ancient debris? Mm, no. Nothing. Also, so far, I haven't even gone through a full stack of food. It's kind of crazy. I gotta say, I was like way over prepared for this one. It seems like when I get lucky, I start finding like a ton of ancient debris, like one after the other after the other. And then there's like a long dry spell where I get like really unlucky and find like none. I don't know. It's probably just how it kind of ends up working out for whatever reason. But I do think it's kind of weird. Back to the starting hallway. I had really bad luck in this hallway. So if I continue to have bad luck, I'm gonna abandon this one and go back to the other one where I was having really, really good luck. But we'll give it a shot. We'll give it a shot. We'll give it a shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta be careful. But well, we're gonna give it a shot. <laughs> okay. Okay, that was like the closest call that I've had the whole episode. Th that was rough. Bed number one. Mm, nothing. Bed number two. Okay, so at this point, I decided that this process was kind of getting repetitive. So I decided to switch things up a little bit and make a time lapse. I ended up getting decently lucky here. I mean, it's not quite enough to push us all the way up to 40 ancient debris, but it's more than none. And so that gets us to the final piece of steak in that first stack of food and the final two beds in the first stack of beds. Bed number one. And here's the second bed. Now it's time to go back to the overworld, get the diamond pickaxe, and collect all the ancient debris that I found so far. Now I'm kind of torn. I can't decide if this is worth my time or not, but I found quite a few patches of gravel. I can't decide if I want to come back in here and take all the gravel out with torches just to see, like maybe just in case there's easy ancient debris here. I mean, gravel is always nice to have after all, so I might end up doing it, I'm not too sure. And then I guess it also kind of depends on the amount of ancient debris that I ended up finding. But I can't decide if I'm going to get more beds and continue exploding the nether today or not. I feel like I'm in a pretty good spot. Diamond pickaxe isn't looking too hot, that's for sure, but here goes nothing. It's ancient debris time. Thank you. 
Final inch of debris total after mining it all, as long as I didn't miss any. 27. <laughs> what? 27! Wow! Okay, alright, I mean, it's pretty close. I would say that's not bad at all. We might be able to be done for the day. But, before I did finish everything up, I wanted to come back here and uh, clear out the last bit of lava on camera, just to see maybe we get really lucky. Surprise debris at the end? Surprise? Surprise? No? Okay. So 27 ancient debris. That's very close to the total. I'm highly tempted to explode a few more beds. I, th I think I'm gonna do it. I'm thinking I'm gonna blow up a couple more beds. But like, only a couple more. Just a few more beds. I'm not going to actually do a whole nother stack of beds. I could. I, I definitely could. But I don't think I'm gonna do it today. Nothing. But gravel patch. So I ended up taking out some of the gravel patches. I didn't go crazy with them. I skipped some of them. Did some of them. It was just kind of random. I think it led to ancient debris like maybe one time. If even that. Alright. Alright, I think we're gonna call it here. This is gonna be our final bet. I'll go back and check the chambers that I just exploded. Any ancient debris? Grand finale? Uh, no. No grand finale today. 27 ancient debris, though? That's not bad. I think what we could end up doing is basically just prioritization. So, like, some things like the hoe, maybe not as an... Maybe not as important. Possibly not as important. All right, so, yeah, 27 ancient debris plus one more. Uh, two more, plus two more, 29. Oh, man, that's so close. That's so close. Okay, back to the beds. It's, like, honestly kind of addicting. It's so easy to do, and it's kind of fun. Unfortunately, a lot of the time, it seems that it just doesn't work out, and you don't end up finding anything. But then other times, you end up finding ancient debris, and it feels good. Really, really good. After blowing up about eight more beds, I ended up finding three more patches of ancient debris total, seven actual blocks of ancient debris, which brings the final total up to 35. We're so close to that 40 goal, 35. I think I could settle for that. But honestly, seriously, I think the real winner today was gravel. Look at all of this gravel right here. That's like almost seven stacks of gravel and 100%. I put some gravel back in the storage building earlier. I think we ended up getting like eight stacks of this stuff. Gravel is great. Gravel is amazing. So we're not going to do anything with the ancient debris today. We'll upgrade the tools very, very soon. Definitely going to build the diamond stuff up first, get all the enchantments going. Then we'll upgrade it to netherite. We also need to get villagers over here, like soon. I also need to build a chicken farm, finally, or, or like just hunt some chickens so I can get a feather and, and make a new book. Yeah. Episode number 154. How much Minecraft do you play? Waddles? Yes. Yeah. So in terms of playtime for today's episode, I would say somewhere between three and four hours it was a long time that doesn't include editing for the episode but yeah for reference i thought it would be cool today to include how long it actually took to find 35 inch debris that also includes some preparation going back and forth and just generally being pretty unlucky today 35 inch debris is really good like like don't get me wrong but it took a long time. That's gonna do it for Minecraft Guide episode number 154. Ancient Debris Mining, that's how it's done. Thank you all for watching today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Links are in the description. Merch is below the video. I'll see you tomorrow.